Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This video is about how to find volume of cube, sphere and cylinder using C++. So come on, let's get started. So before moving towards our program, we'll just see some important formulas which we'll need while doing our program. So volume of cube which is length cube. Volume of sphere is 4 upon 3 pi r cube. We are going to put value of pi that is 3.14. Volume of cylinder is pi r square h which is 3.14 r into r into h. So now let's do it practically. So I have opened my deep C++ application. Now I am typing my header file which is io stream. That is my input output stream which contains all c out and c in statements. Now I am giving using namespace std. I am declaring my main function here which is of type int. Now I am opening my curly braces. Okay, so here. Now I am declaring variable L which means length of type int. Now I am declaring variable R and H which is of type float. Float accepts all integers and int accepts only whole numbers. So here I am giving my cout statement which asks user to enter value for length of cube. Enter the length of cube. Now I am accepting length. Now I am giving cout statement to find volume of cube. Slash in because I want it a new line. So volume of cube is equal to length cube. So L into L into L. Correct. So now for sphere. For sphere we need radius. So I am asking user to enter radius of sphere. Enter. So I need just to give a slash in here. Enter radius of sphere. Now I will just read the value of R, which is my radius. Now I am giving C out statement to find volume of sphere. So here volume of sphere is equal to 4 upon 3 pi r cube which is 4 upon 3 pi pi is 3.14 r cube which is r into r into r Now I am doing it for cylinder. So for cylinder, I am asking the user to enter radius and height for of cylinder. C Y L I N D E R cylinder. So now I am reading values for R and H. Now I am giving C out statement to find volume of cylinder. So here volume of cylinder is volume of cylinder is equal to pi r square h which is 3.14 pi r square h right now I will return with a statement here because my int function is of type int now let's check uh, cube length of cube is entered and your volume is given radius is entered and your volume is given same as with cylinder so now let's save our program 
I am saving it as volume dot cpp. So now let's compile and run. You can see that our program is successfully executed. Now it's asking me enter the length of q. So I am entering the length of q. See, I am getting the volume of q is two hundred sixteen. Now I am entering radius of sphere. I am entering five. So you can see volume of sphere is thirty nine three hundred and ninety two point five. Now it's asking me enter radius and height. And now I I can enter float value for this like five point one and three point two. See now it's also giving me for float values volume of cylinder is to sixty one point three point four eight. So it's all about today. If you like my video, do like and subscribe and stay tuned for my next video. Bye bye.